Hey, hey guys, this is Delzy Tech. Um, topic of the day today is uh, moving on to wireless headset. Um, there's a main reason why I actually come up with this topic. As you know, uh, brands, bigger brands in general like Apple, they're actually removing the headphone jack. And future uh, years down the road, I can see more and more brands will be doing that as well. Okay, so these are the two uh, headphones I'm currently using. One is the 100 ABN from Sony. The other one will be Jaybird X2 from Jaybird. Okay, the way I use these two uh, headsets is very different. One is for exercising purposes, uh, running, things like that. The other one would be uh, mainly for commuting and overall music listening in general. Okay, without further ado, let's uh, focus on the 100 ABNs first. So as you can see, it comes with this um, carrying case. Very good, protects the headphones pretty well. Uh, so this is the headset. Uh, as you can see, what comes with the headset as well is cable. Now this uh, headset uh, does have actually have a um, headphone jack over here. So if you happen to run out of battery, uh, you don't have to worry. Just use the headphone jack. There you go. You can actually plug into the phone already. Um, but not to worry. Um, the battery life on this is very very solid. Uh, advertised at 20 hours of uh, usage. But I can tell you, uh, it actually lasts me longer than that. Uh, based on my usage with noise cancellation on. And that's one reason why I actually prefer these headsets over other headphones. The noise cancellation is very very good. Okay, so with noise cancellation on, like I said, uh, can last you way over 20 hours. Um, for my usage, it lasts me a week. 7, 6 days of usage. Uh, each day roughly 1 to 2 hours. Uh, yeah. And on top of that, the audio quality on this thing is very very good. Uh, it's not so bassy, so if you are going for a bassy headset, I would not recommend this, but this is more towards the clarity side. It has a warmer tone to it as well. And I think it's also comfortability. It's very comfortable. Uh, you have a PU ladder over here on the ear pads as well as the head pants. So long hours of uh, usage, you don't have to worry. Uh, it feels very, very comfortable. Another thing as well, uh, thanks to this PU ladder padding on the ear, ear cups over here, uh, if you happen to off the noise cancellation as well, let's say you're listening at home, it do actually block out quite a substantial amount of noise as well. Uh, with one reason why I actually go for noise cancelling headphones in general, uh, because I do happen to commute a lot, and with this active noise cancellation, um, like going to school, things like that, uh, you know, sometimes there's some situation where there's a noisy kid or uh, overall unwanted noise in general. I just on this, there I go, I can't really hear anything uh, outside, which is very very useful. Another thing is also the overall build quality as well, it's very very uh, strong in general. So even though it's a plastic uh, frame, plastic bo body, sorry, it's very very robust, doesn't bend or break that easily. Uh, sometimes I do happen to put these headphones without the case, just simply put it in and it still works well. Okay. Uh, other than that, um, overall I would say it's a very good pair of headphones to go for if you're mainly looking for um, a nice headphones to actually replace your uh, current headphones. Uh, my previous headphones was actually a uh, ATHM50 from Audio Technica. I can tell you this one is very very good if you're comparing with the Audio Technicas. Okay, so now let's move on to my second headphone which is my Jaybird X2 <coughs> uh, This Jaybird X2, I use it mainly when I'm going for a run, things like that exercising in general uh, This Jaybird X2 has a water resistant, it's somewhat water resistant as well as sweat proof so if you happen to exercise a lot, uh, a lot of sweating so you know most headphones will get damaged by then uh, with this you don't have to worry, it's very very good it's very very lasting as well. On top of that, in terms of battery life, uh, it's very good as well. Uh, rated at 8 hours of usage. Uh, comes close to that. Use it roughly around 6 to 7 hours. Yeah, which uh, each time my exercising uh, time frame was roughly around 40 to 1 hour. 40 minutes to 1 hour. Yeah, and last pretty long. Yeah. 
On top of that, the pricing on the Jaber X2 actually dropped recently because of the new launch of the X3s and the Freedom. So I'll say it's a very good time to get this pair of earpiece now. Other earpiece I'll recommend, uh, I'll put up on screen. A uh, few, few models I'll recommend. Uh, if your budget is higher enough, I uh, highly recommend the 1000X from Sony as well. Uh, the noise cancellation of that is currently one of the best in the market. So if you really don't like uh, outside ambient noise, things like that, go for the 1000X. will not disappoint you. Uh, next pair of headset I recommend would be uh, Bose QC35. Uh, in terms of pricing, it's slightly more pricier. For my country, it's very sad. Um, the headphones for this model is 499 USD. Uh, sorry, SGD. It's quite pricey. For the Bose, um, QC35 it's 549 SGD yeah so it's like $50 $60 more yeah and step up would be the 1000 uh, X from Sony like I said it's currently the best noise cancelling headphones in the market right now uh, for earphones wise uh, I would recommend Jaybirds in general o overall audio quality and uh, Build quality, they are the one to go for. I highly recommend them. Uh, if you want a slightly more bassy earphones, uh, I would recommend um, Beats, uh, Beats X, as well as the which model? Uh, yeah, Beats X and the Solo Trees. If you're going for a more bassy headset, um, those two uh, headsets uh, from Beats, I recommend them is mainly because of their battery life as well because they actually collaborated with Apple and they have the W1 chips inside them so in terms of battery life yeah, those two are currently one of the best in the market uh, other headphones honorable mentions uh, would be the Marshall Marshall uh, Bluetooth headset as well, pretty good and lastly is also um, if you want a cheaper alternative to the Beats, uh, will be the Sony MDR950 Bluetooth headsets. Yeah, the base on that is very scary as well. You do actually get the type of uh, thump uh, on your head. Yeah, so if you like the type of bassy sound and cheap, go for the 950 uh, yeah, from Sony's. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, do give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe.